Howdy everyone and welcome back to the Luna Geeks Out channel and I am excited today because we are finally checking out Slipknot's new track, Yin. I meant to film this, it is Thursday that I'm filming this. So it's story time, alright? I meant to film this Sunday, alright? And my mom and I decided to go take a hike on Sunday and you know, that was pretty nice. We went out to a nearby waterfall, it was fun, we had some peanut butter sandwiches at the inn and everything while watching the waterfall. It was a good time all around, and on the way to the waterfall, we got caught in some light rain. And we knew, alright, it's the mountains, we know how storms work, this is going to pass over pretty quick. And yeah, it, probably 15 minutes to half an hour later, and yeah, the rain was done, and it was pretty nice out. A bit wet, a bit muddy, but overall pretty nice. Anyways, we're headed back, and the weather is perfect, and about a mile from the start of the trail... It, we get caught up in the heaviest storm I've ever seen, and that really ain't much of an exaggeration. We've had some heavy storms here, but that was, that was definitely one of the heaviest, and uh, I was just, I was miserable the rest of the day, simply put. Next two days, weather was still just bad enough that uh, when I actually sat down to start filming, one day it was raining, the other day it was just horribly overcast, and I knew lighting would be horrible. And then, uh, yesterday, I sit down to film, and I'm like, I actually, I have everything set up. I have the video pulled up, I've read over the lyrics again, everything, and my camera is dead. So, I've used up all my Slipknot shirts, those are dirty now, I think most of them are currently being washed. Um, it, it's a whole mess, but we're finally getting to it, and I'm happy to be done with the whole build-up to this. So, yeah, without further ado, let's hop into it. Alright, starting off. Bit of a environmental kind of stuff, ambient sound. Sounds like footsteps and now going to some sort of electronic droning and everything. Okay, okay. Some sounds like some heavily distorted guitar. You're the sin that I've been waiting for. Okay. The hands around my throat is all I can think about. The smell of sweat and blood. Okay. All my pleasures just to drown all of yours. Have you heard of me? Are you hurting me? Let me say what I'm waiting for. Oh, that bass right there. Nice. Can you cover me? Will you breathe for me? There's a guy in Galaxy, I can't cross my skin and put my damn feet in. I wanna know that I would die for you. I die for you. Oh, those clean vocals there. I love that moment right there. Oh, I love that riff right there so much. Okay. 
Okay, Sid getting a moment to shine. Nice. Oh, 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 this is so cool. Okay, yeah, that that was amazing. Yeah, there ain't. I don't need to say anything more with that. That was amazing. So lyrical analysis and everything. Now I don't actually have too much to dig into with the meaning of the lyrics per se, but more a weird little connection I made with them. So th there's sort of these two ideas that I saw very heavy within the lyrics. Right off the bat, there is love. I, I think even the first line uh, somewhat represents that. You're the sin that I've been waiting for. Uh, the chorus uh, also uh, really grabs that. I want to know that I was dying for you, and then, of course, I died for you. Uh, da, da, da. There's one other line in here that how did I, I, I can't find it. But then the other one is pain and uh, violence and everything. Uh, the bridge perhaps shows it the most clearly. I wish this pain could last forever, forever. I wish this kill could make me suffer for good. Uh, but then the chorus, as the knife goes in, cut across my skin when my death begins. Uh, and right, at, right towards the beginning of verse 1, the hands around my throat is all I can think about, the smell of sweat and blood. And really the intermingling and intertwining of both of those ideas to where they become one. And that really gave me a lot of heavy sleep token vibes because that's very prominent in a lot of their lyrics. Uh, off the top of my head, um, Nazareth really shows that well. Uh, I'm going to have a look at the specific line and say that you will. There, there's one line in there that really sort of sums up exactly what I'm saying. So let me try to find that. Ah, uh, yeah, the chorus. Wouldn't you say that you will let the impulse to love and the instinct to kill entangle to one in the slight your mind till the sweat turns to blood? Wouldn't you say that you will even if you won't? And that's sort of the the, I, the vibe I got from this thing. It, it very much felt like a sleep token kind of song. It was very much Slipknot's own version of that idea of a lot more, I guess, visibly darker than Sleep Token are sometimes. It's, I think it's much easier to imagine Sleep Token stuff as just a simple love song than it is with Slipknot. <laughs> but, uh, it was like, it was the same idea, just slip, slip Token's, uh, Slipknot's, uh, Slipknot's own, I guess, interpretation of it. And I don't, I don't really have too much to say. That was just an interesting comparison that I made. And that is actually something I'll come back to in a moment. Because there was yet another, um, I almost said Slip Token again. Yet another, 
I almost said sleep knot. <laughs> I'm struggling right now. Yet another sleep token similarity I noticed, but again, we'll get to that in a moment. So let us start off with the vocals as we tend to do for the analysis, or not the analysis for the review. Vocals were phenomenal in this. Probably the best. The There's the very very deep uncleans, I guess, throughout the verses that just, I absolutely loved. I saw someone compare the song to Vermilion, and uh, yeah, with that, I can definitely see why very similar vocal style to that song. And of course, that made me happy since Verm Vermilion is just a fantastic song. And honestly, all of Volume 3 is... It's, it's probably my least favorite Slipknot album, but it's a really good one. It's, it's got some great stuff on it, and really, there's only one song on there that I, like, actually dislike, and I don't know, I'm pretty easy to please with music, y'all know that, but yeah, it, very much uh, Heavy Volume 3 vibes with that, especially, so I was happy. The Uncleans were pretty good, I preferred them in the Dying song, especially right at the end, there's so much raw pain and emotion in those Uncleans, so these ones just fell a little flat for me, but I quite like it. Just very, very good quality, even if perhaps the emotion wasn't as apparent with them. And then sort of the I can't I can't say higher cleans. I guess the more mid range cleans in the chorus, especially at the end, the uh, the I died for you part were, were just phenomenal. It really tied everything together. The drums and percussion. Honestly, a little weak in this one. Uh, oftentimes, Slipknot just have these phenomenal drums and percussion. I I'm just gonna, just for ease, I'm just gonna say drums. No, I'm talking about all of that stuff. But uh, in this one, it just it felt like they were just there to provide, the, I guess, the backing rhythm and less to really build upon everything. Just they they, they felt a little flat in this. They were solid, uh, very very good quality and consistency. Just. I would have hoped for something a bit more from them. The bass was phenomenal, most noticeable there at the beginning, but oh, I absolutely loved it. Very good sound, very good feel, uh, good, I guess, vibration to it. Uh, very, very deep. Just uh, I, I loved the bass in this. The guitar, fantastic, especially during the course. Very good, uh, very good riffs there, and I think it was heavily distorted guitar there at the beginning that I talked about. I quite liked that as well. I don't know if that was guitar or not, but whatever that was, I quite liked that sound. And then I'll talk about what Sid was doing. I still don't know the term for that, but I, I really liked it. It, I think the transition into and out of it could have been done a little better. It felt perhaps a little bit disjointed with the song, but it was it was really good, really good. A uh, great texture throughout it that really built upon the song and was was incorporated pretty well, definitely added to it, I just, I think it could have been done just a little better, a little smoother, I'll go, I'll go with that, a little smoother. And then, just the different electronic stuff, I imagine Craig was doing a lot of that, but I feel, I, I want to say Clown was behind a lot of that as well, because it feels like the kind of thing Clown would do, <laughs> adding in that weird atmospheric stuff. That was pretty cool, Probably my least favorite part of the track, but it did provide some good additional texture and everything. I can't go quite so far as to say it was that extra spice on top of everything else, but I liked it. It was some solid stuff. Probably the weakest part of the track for me, but it was pretty good. Now, to talk about everything as whole, just very, very good. Now, my favorite part of the song, this is where the sleep token uh, connection comes back, was the bridge, because... Uh, the way it was done, not only did, uh, again, there, there were the lyrics that were very sleep tokeny, but the, I guess, writing of that and almost the sort of atmospheric elements of it and everything very much sounded like something sleep token would do. I best comparison I can make is the bridge in Gods, but it could, I could be grabbing for some other song, but just. I don't know, another interesting connection, not too much to say with it, but it made me happy because Sleep Token I absolutely love. So to hear uh, an old favorite of mine, Slipknot, uh, perhaps channel a bit of a new favorite of mine, Sleep Token, it made me very happy. So I, I don't know how the song is going to compare to the Dying Song, which is probably still my favorite from this album so far, at least, uh, I, I was going to say at least of the ones released, but I 
I can't say anything about the ones that haven't been released, so a stupid point to make right there. I'll have to see how this ends up comparing to it, but I may end up liking this one more. And, you know, I heard a lot of folks say that this, oh, this was the worst one, this one really mid and everything. But I've, I've really liked all of the ones. Chapel Town Rag, I listened to it again last night. That's really grown on me. I didn't like it much the first time. I was like, all right, it's solid, a bit messy. But as I've listened to it more and more, it's really starting, it's really starting to grow on me. I'm really starting to like it. Uh, the Dying Song, absolutely loved it the first time I heard it. This one, absolutely loved it the first time I heard it. So, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't get what the hate for this new stuff is. I, I guess there's a lot of folks like, oh, they're not, they, they aren't doing the you know, same old thing that they were doing on Iowa or whatever, because, you know, a lot of folks don't want them to do that. And, I don't know, I'm easy to please with music. I, I can't think of many times I've reacted to a song on here that I've actually disliked. It's happened maybe twice, maybe three times, but... Like, I'm, I'm easy to please with music, but even with that, I don't get what the hate with this is. It just, I don't know, I feel like there's bigger things we're worrying about than, oh, they aren't doing the same thing they were doing, I don't know, 20 years ago? I think I actually have my math right with that, we'll go with that. But, before we wrap it up, because I really don't have any more commentary, I want to try something new today. So, I've been using this uh, random picker wheel to select what each new reaction is going to be, and I've just done it after filming the reaction, but I figured, why not have it be a part of the video, and so we can be like, oh, so this is what we're doing next time, we just have you know, perhaps a tiny little extra bit of interaction or something. So, let's get that going, I already have it pulled up. And as you can see, some of this stuff just may look absolutely insane. Uh, I've got shorthand for all of this. I know what all of this is referring to. And I just, I couldn't be bothered to write out the full artist names and song titles and everything. So I will say whatever song it is we're reacting to, if I can actually remember the title of it. But let's give it a spin, see what we get for next time. I've got a few things I'm hoping for, but I don't know what we'll get. Oh, I'm happy about this one. We are gonna check out Fim's... N well, it's actually not a new track. It's an old one that they just put out a music video for, and I haven't heard the track yet, so I can react to it. Checking out their new track, Crawl Away, next time. I am very happy about that. Fim are one of my all-time favorites. So, with the next reaction decided and everything, and also I should say... Once I get through this list of all the new releases, I will get back to the uh, reaction requests and everything. But with the next reaction decided upon, that is going to do it. So we thank you all for watching. Be sure to like if you liked, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment down below with your own thoughts of the track, any feedback or criticism, or anything you want me to react to. In the description, link to It's Not a Music Video, I guess the audio visualizer or whatever, so you can go check it out to support the artist. Link to my Discord server, Instagram, Twitter, Spotify playlist of all the songs I've reacted to, at least the ones up on Spotify. And the uh, link tree I have with all my other stuff in it, in case any of that interests y'all. Anyways, like I said, that's going to do it. So once again, thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll be seeing ya.